Hey everyone, graphing fractions and decimals on the coordinate plane. So we know how to graph, we know what the coordinate plane is. What if you see a fraction on the coordinate plane? Ah, this is a coordinate plane, this is simple, right? This is quadrant one because we have positive on the x axis, positive numbers on the y axis. So there's no fractions. This is, this is easy. So if we look at four, six, we always go in the hotel, then up the elevator. In the building, then up. In, then up. So four, and then six, all the way to six. Bingo. Easy. All right, what about if you have seven, three? You go seven, then three. Still, no problem. What about zero, five? Oh, zero, you're just barely, you're at the front door. So you go zero, one, two, three, four, five. We're good. Now, let me show you. Oh, goodness. Now we have fractions on the bottom. Right, so I just, I left the, the y-axis normal, whole numbers, but on the x-axis we added fractions. So the red line is showing our whole numbers. Four fourths is one. Eight over four is two. So look, this is by quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, six quarters, seven quarters, eight quarters. No problem. All right. So let's say you get a question that says six quarters, seven. Well, that's fine. You go over to six quarters, and then you come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No problem. If you see fractions or decimals on the coordinate plane, don't worry about it. It is okay. Three quarters, two. One, two, three quarters, one, two. No problem at all. Okay. So this same coordinate plane, but instead of using fractions, I am showing you with decimals, right? What is one quarter? It's 25 cents. Two quarters is 50 cents. Three quarters is 75 cents. If you have four quarters, what do you have? A dollar, a dollar 25, a dollar 50, dollar 75, two dollars, that's fine. So if you have 1.75 and then you get eight. All right, great. Go to a dollar 75 and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no, nothing to worry about if you see a fraction or a decimal on the coordinate plane. Treat the x value and the y value exactly the same as you would normally. So we'll say 2.25 uh, and then 4. So we'll go all the way to 2.25 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. And that's it. It's all right. So. Now I'm showing you, if we have fractions for both the x value and the y value, what that might look like. Two and one third, one and two thirds. So let's go x value first, because we go in and then up. So two and one third. Two and one, two, three thirds is three. So two and one third. Here we are. One and two thirds. So we're going to go one, one third, two thirds. Yeah. Uh, well, this one we'll do with a dot, this we'll do with a triangle, and here we'll do a square. Three and one third, okay? So three and one third. Two and two thirds. One, two, one third, two thirds, all the way here. We'll do a triangle. One, perfect. Three and one third. One, two, three, and one third. That is. Gals, this is this is no problem, no problem at all. All right, so instead of having thirds, what if we have fifths? Look, one fifth, two fifths, and you can you can write this on your own test, on your own star test or exam or whatever. You can do this. Fill in the blanks. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. One. Uh, you know, maybe it's a uh, Six fifths, or maybe it's one and two fifths, one and three fifths, right? Uh, so five, six, seven, eight, nine fifths, 
It doesn't matter if it's a mixed number or improper fraction. It doesn't matter. So let's go nine fifths uh, and then one and two fifths. Okay, so we'll go all the way to nine fifths. Here's one, and then one fifth, two fifths. Okay, I hope this helped. Please let me know what you need. Let me know if you have any questions about the coordinate plane, about graphing, uh, or curveballs like fractions on the coordinate plane, decimals on the coordinate plane. I'm here to help. Bye, everyone.